Students, welcome to our channel. In today's UPSC Topper's answer copy analysis, we are going to discuss UPSC 2023 Topper are all in their rank to Animesh Pradhan again. So let's go into the today's question, friends. This question is picked from GS Paper One component of your world history. Now let's go into the question as dear, bringing out the factors that led to the Meiji restoration, discuss its significance for Japan. So by looking at the question, we can clearly identify there are two components in the question and it's a 10 marker question which has been asked to answer in 150 words. And we know very well how to do the space management with the kind of discussions we are having every day in our topper series. Okay friends, now let's go into the question very directly. We know very well whenever there is a two component in the question, we should have two subheadings in the answer. So before proceeding that, let's look at the structure of the answer which this topper has addressed here. So if you look at the structure of the answer, there is a very clear introduction but the introduction has been written in four and a half lines. So I always advise to write an ideal introduction in two to three lines. So then there is a body. And the body of the answer has been uh, approached in a very different manner in a subheading format so that we can easily identify even two subheadings in the answer. And then coming to the conclusion. So if you look at the conclusion here friends, the conclusion has been written very crisp to the point as I said in two and a half lines. So this is one of the ideal way to conclude, write a conclusion for an answer. Okay friends, let's now directly jump into the body of the answer which has been asked here. So as we have discussed already in the previous UPSC Topper's uh, answer copy analysis series, uh, whenever we write a body of the answer, the most important thing we have to do is we have to address the components asked in the question. So as we said already, there are two components which has been asked in the question. This Topper also very clearly has demarcated this with the help of two schematic diagrams. So this is something very, very looking attractive and unique from rest of the toppers who have been uh, writing the answers on world history. That is why friends, we have brought this copy to discuss this All India Ranked to Animesh Pradhan again because he has done lot of innovation and various techniques he has adopted in his answer writing approach. So as a learner and uh, the beginner who are going to do answer writing practice, we should learn all these kinds of various techniques which has been adopted by the UP toppers so I advise you all of you to learn all these kind of various creative or innovative techniques which these toppers adapt and try to incorporate some of those whenever you start writing answers okay friends let's now go into this question that is the body of the component so as we said already the body of the answer has been approached in a very unique schematic approach along with that friends although it has been approached in a schematic approach again we can see a easily a point wise format that is you can easily point out how many points he has written here so overall for the first subheading here he has written four points but looking at the second subheading he has written lot of points so if you overall see friends how many points he has written here that is uh, in the first component 4 and in the second component 7 so overall for a 10 marker question he has written 11 points what is very very uh, uniqueness with him is that most of the candidates who are preparing for UPSC mains examination apart from history optional background they will not give that much importance to read world history so uh, considering that uh, kind of performance by the candidates who are writing mains examination this toppers performance is actually very excellent this talks about the kind of preparation he has brought in not only the preparation friends it's always not the content we uh, take it to the examination hall it's also the kind of perspectives we bring in in the answer that is what uh, will make us unique from the rest of the toppers even if you look at the kind of points which he has written here the first uh, five points which he has written here are very normal it does not make any too much uniqueness to his answer but if you look at the last two points here, this actually uh, speaks a lot about why he deserves that All India Rank 2. Even I would say he actually he would have got All India Rank 1 in this year, but uh, he has narrowly missed it. Uh, so let's consider this. Uh, what is his uniqueness he has approached in this answer? Friends, in a world history question, we can bring in current affairs examples in our answer is something uh, very very uniqueness among the uh, few toppers who are writing this examination over the years we have been seeing this 
and if you see here this is really a tough thing to do in the examination because in the world history component and that too from a topic which has been asked about uh, something happened in Japan in the historical past in the world history he has brought in the contemporary perspective not only that even he has brought the technological perspective in his answer this is a new dimension in the world history world history answers that is why I say this answer is very unique and that's why we brought this topper's answer copy again to bring this discussion so overall if you see friends how much mark you would have got for this particular question means as I said already has written 11 points and maximum of the points are normal but two of the points which he has written he deserves extra one mark that is half a mark he will be getting extra for these two points which many of the other candidates will not be getting this is something he has brought very much uniqueness in his answer writing approach so if you see the rest leaving these two points are uh, remaining nine points he would have got roughly around four marks in the body of the answer and if you look at the introduction which has been written here he would have got half a mark and for the conclusion again half a mark so overall if you see friends uh, that is four four and half and then 5 plus 1 6 so overall he got uh, out of 10 marks 6 marks this is considered to be the one of the top marks in the UPSC mains examination marking pattern friends because in UPSC examination the persons who are uh, evaluating the answers they will not be very much liberal and this we have been also observing over the years if someone is getting even for a 10 mark or question 6 mark that is considered to be really a excellent and highest mark in UPSC real examination pattern so overall all the important points out of the discussion of today's video are um, the whenever we do an answer writing the first basic thing we have to do is we have to come out with a structure of answer having introduction body conclusion and the body of the answer should be having subheading approach as well as point wise approach but what is very very unique in today's discussion is that this topper has not brought in that point wise format instead of point wise format he has brought in a schematic diagram approach that is why it is a very unique approach in his answer writing technique which we also need to learn and follow in our answers apart from that other two uniqueness which he has done is he also underlined the keywords if you look at his answers in many of the keywords which are actually especially as in the question about Meiji restoration yes again and again he has highlighted not only in the introduction friends again in the conclusion so he is telling to the examiner again and again I am writing only what you are asking in the question and concerning that I have brought in uniqueness also so this kind of a way of approach directly uh, writing the points and attacking the question and underlining the keywords will make the examiner's evaluation very very easy that's why the, these are the people who are making it to the list with top marks so i hope the, today's video was very much useful to you again we will meet in a new video friends thanks for watching